Okay, to try and help you guys, I'm going to try and explain bits and pieces as we go along. Um, it can be a bit complicated at times, difficult to explain, but I'm sure if any of you were experienced in sewing, you'll have some understanding at least. Uh, to get our pieces, um, as you can see, it's a slightly different top on this doll. It's a corset. Um, we have an infill piece at the front underneath all the lacing. And then you've got a very thin straps. Um, I won't be doing the collar because I thought with all the hair and the wig I'm going to be wearing it's going to get really annoying so we won't be doing those. Uh, to try and get our pieces, first of all I use this um, new look pattern corset and we actually only use like the uh, I don't know if you can see my mic fingers put in here, this uh, side panel and this one that goes right over the hips so we only used those two really and uh, just extended them upwards and then they had to be reshaped after and to uh, for the back we actually use this pattern um, which is Simplicity uh, pattern 2757 and at first I actually made this pattern up but I didn't actually like it uh, the back was fine but um, the uh, front wasn't quite how I wanted it So yeah, here we go, this is like the two patterns we use, sort of mishmash them together after about three attempts. And this is what we ended up with. We've got the infill piece that goes underneath, I use like this uh, very thin lilac satin, which I'm going to be using for my sleeves later on. And then you've got the side panel from the corset there. And then we've got the side front panel from the corset. And we basically, I had to cut it out like square at the top so it wasn't shaped. And uh, mum had to actually try it on me and actually cut round <laughs> um, where the pieces fall on me. And then these are the back pieces that I I used uh, from the, the simplicity pattern. Slightly reshaped and then obviously I extended the length and the height because it's got quite a high back and um, the next what I'll be using underneath uh, this is actually a duchess satin by the way um, it's quite nice it's actually I don't know if the colours are going to show it very well in this video but the uh, the corset on this doll is like a light pinky purple and uh, I'm going to use um, a really really thick stiffener underneath so I'll go like that like so and uh, then the lining will go on the back of that I just really wanted this corset to be extra stiff but that's just my choice so you don't have to do it like that but it's just what I wanted so that's as far as I've got right at the moment Right, the next thing I'll uh, have to do is to paint my pattern onto uh, all of my panels. I'll start off and go from front to back because I'll find that easier. Now on this particular doll, it's not just a printed pattern, it's actually got like a like a velvety flop look to it, which I'm going to try and achieve. I, I'm hoping it'll work out. Uh, on the corset, it's like a, a lilac -y lilac pattern. And on the skirt, it's a deeper dark purple pattern. Um, I did some examples earlier. I just used purple paint, practicing on some a scrap of white duchess satin I've got here from a previous costume. Um, I had to practice on some pink, and I I felt that first I was mixing my paint to um to light. As you can see, so I darkened my paint and 
that's the colour I like better. And to do this, I used, um, I'll be sort of a bit closer for you, uh, Dylan Fabric Paint, um, purple number 7, and I lightened it up a little bit using white. And then very quickly after I painted each pattern, you have to be really, really quick, is I bought this uh, purple, well, lilac key flock. Uh, from Martha Stewart's Crafts. Um, it actually comes like a shaker pot and sprinkle it on, but it, I felt it was still coming out in cl clumps for some reason, so I actually got a, um, got a sieve and just sieved it over like that. Do you get the idea? And you've got like this, um, you can see this furry, furry look to it, slightly raised furry look. Is um, <laughs> how I could describe it, I suppose. But it's probably the closest I'm going to get. I don't know how they did it on theirs, but um, I'm going to give it a go and see how it turns out. Okay. Hello again. I finally finished painting all my pieces. It took me about three days to do it. As you see, it's turned out really nice. Here we go. Right, and the next thing to do is to sew all your pieces together in which I've made a start on the other side here there we go I've already just pinned them all together at this point but you get the idea the next thing you'll need to do is get your sewing machine out and sew them all together Okay guys, I do apologise for this. I completely forgot to mention about the fill-in piece that goes in the middle. So apologies again for that. But I, I've gone ahead and prepared it so you can have a look. It actually took me about two days to do all these loops. There's like 48 on there. And this will be the piece that goes in the middle. And if you can remember from the doll, it had like the, the lace. The lace that will then like be threaded your loops and so on. All I basically did is had to pin down, you get the shape of your loop, which is a bit tricky because I'm trying to film and do this at the same time, but you got your loop and you pin it down, and then you do a little catching stitch over the top. Like so, as you can see there. Not particularly tidy at this point, but you'll see later on it will look really nice. It's extremely fiddly, very time consuming. So hopefully it'll be worth it. So there we go, that's our that's my fill in piece. Rightio, here we have the Miracle Worker. It's my mother, by the way. <laughs> and here she is, she's pinning the uh, interfacing to my outer pieces there that I painted earlier. I'll just let this roll a minute. Let's see what she's doing. Here's one I've been showing. Oh, apparently one his his she did this. Here we go, guys. Yeah, I think we'll have to. There we go. Turn it over. You can see all the stiffener. Just pinned at the moment under the back.
Brilliant. Okay. Okay, I'm about to put the front panel in now. All the loops have been sewn onto and tacked down so that the loops don't move. That is going to go onto the front panel. And this is what it will look like when it's been sewn down. All the loops will be on the outside. Hmm. Right, it's time to do the piping. That's the gold bits that go around the top of the corset and then the bottom of the corset. And then they'll also be used on the sleeves as well. And I've got some nice... Uh, Nice gold satin here, slightly shiny. And what I'll have to do is get some cord. It's quite a soft cord. And I'll place that about there. And then that will be folded over inside. And I'll pin it all the way along like so, all the way right to the end of, this, of the strip I've got here. Right, so I've nearly finished uh, putting my piping in. And this is what I've done. As I tried to show you before, but it is really difficult, but as you can see it's under there. pin on the top there to hold the piping in place. That's very important because you don't want it to move so it's gone right through the fabric and right through the piping. The piping is now right on this edge here. Actually where my thumb is, right on there. All the way along. And I haven't gone right to the end just yet just to show you. I think you get the idea. Hopefully. And I'll just go right to the end there. Like so.